Today we're going to look at the Cardiacs. The Cardiacs are based on the 1980 Cleveland Browns, also referred to as the Cardiac Kids for all of the late game heroics that they had. They have three special rules that all kind of come together at the end of the game in the late half to help them overcome uh, a small uh, deficit. Clutch coins, late game heroics, and the two minute drill. The Cardiacs feature three different formations. Double tight end is their run heavy. Pro set is their balanced, and split flex is their pass heavy. On defense, the Cardiacs feature the typical 3-4 defense, which is their run heavy, nickel for their balanced, and dime for their pass heavy. The first special rule we're going to look at today is actually late game heroics, where they can bank one clutch coin when the offense starts the possession when losing. Most teams in breakaway football feature two challenge flags. However, the Cardiacs only have one. This is to represent how luck is disproportionately impacting their team. However, the clutch coin that you can bank is actually the second token. You can flip it over to its logo side and use that as the marker to move down the track. Each time the Cardiacs begin an offensive drive, when they are losing, they will actually earn one clutch coin. And so this is the first drive, the second drive, the third drive, and so on, until they earn up to seven of those in a game. Once they uh, move up the track, any time that they start spending clutch coins to impact the game, the earning stops. So here the Cardiacs have begun their drive first and five from their own 25, the second quarter, and they're losing 7-3. In this situation, they've already had three drives where they have begun the game losing. Because they are now beginning this drive, they will advance from three to four. Each clutch coin allows you to draw a replacement game day card when something happens that you don't like. And unlike most other teams, that replacement game day card can be used for any value on the card, including the corners. So for that reason, usually the Cardiacs won't spend their clutch coins until very, very late in the game. Here, we'll pick up the action in the fourth quarter. You see that the Fire have a 27-13 lead over the Cardiacs, and the Cardiacs have one card on the board and two in their hole, so they've got three minutes left in the game. It's now second and one, and they've decided to throw a medium pass flood against a dime prevent. So this is a gain of three for the Cardiacs. The game day card comes out and it is an incomplete pass. Now, because it's so late in the game, it might be time to start spending some of these clutch coins. They can actually spend a clutch coin and just move backward on the track from six to five, and now they have the ability to pull a fresh game day card. Here we go, and it is a perfect route, which gives you a plus one. So now they've got the three gain of three plus one gives them a total of four. They've preserved that first down, and can now continue their attempt at coming back. Now, notice that the clutch coin went from six to five. It also means that they won't earn any more clutch coins. Once they start spending them, they cannot earn any more for the rest of the game. Because the Cardiacs are down late, they're deciding to go ahead and throw a Hail Mary pass from here. So this would be a completion for a touchdown if it were pulled. So we're going to throw a Hail Mary uh, and make it second down. So the first down, Hail Mary. We pull this and we look at the bottom right corner. And as you can see, the bottom right corner is actually an interception. And that's going to be returned for a touchdown. That is a disaster. and really would end the game for the Cardiacs. So instead, they are going to decide to simply move this down the track one, spend a clutch coin, and draw a replacement game day card. This one has seven in the bottom right corner, which is not a completion, but it's absolutely not an interception. So that uh, uh, ball is incomplete and they uh, move on to second down. The other thing that's really interesting is that notice the two minute drill, they will not discard a card for an incomplete pass. So in that instance, they had to spend a play 
in order to attempt the Hail Mary. Normally, any other team is going to have to discard this card, leaving them with only one left. But because they are the Cardiacs, and the Cardiacs have the ability to not discard an incomplete pass inside of two minutes, they're simply going to hang on to this card. It's literally as if nothing had happened. So the Cardiacs have many opportunities for free Hail Marys towards the end of the game, assuming that they are losing. You'll also notice the clutch coins can only be used when the team is losing. Assuming the Cardiacs are winning by any amount, they would not be able to burn clutch coins to draw replacement game day cards. Let's say it's third down now and the Cardiacs are desperate to get back into this game. They're going to throw a Hail Mary. Now remember, on a Hail Mary you burn a card just to make sure that you account for the time. Uh, but remember, if this is incomplete, then the Cardiacs won't actually burn this. Um, and here we go. We're going to search the bottom right corner. And as we see, this is a seven, so that is incomplete. Now the Cardiacs can very easily move their token down to the three column here. And that will give them another game day pull. And again, they're looking for a nine in the bottom corner. They get another seven. So this is another feature of the Cardiacs. They can continue to mine the game day deck to try to find the card that helps them out the most. They're going to move it down to two again, pull another card. This one is actually a pick one man to beat, but it's an eight in the lower corner. That is still not enough for a completion. They're going to go ahead and burn one more. Let's see if they can find the, uh, the card that they're looking for. They need a nine in the bottom right corner. And there it is. Okay, so the Cardiacs have actually completed a pass for a touchdown uh, and will kick the extra point uh, as such. And so now it is 20 to 27 and they've got one play left uh, and one clutch coin left. So they're going to go ahead and discard this and then we're going to kick an onside kick from the 50. They're going to try to get the ball back. And so as you know, we need an eight or a nine in the lower right corner. Uh, and we look and it is a three. So under normal circumstances, that would be the end of the game. But remember, the Cardiacs have one more clutch coin. So they're going to spend their last one and hope for the best. And they come out with a six. And so the game will end right there. The fire will simply kneel it out from the 50. And the Cardiacs will lose 27-20. So as you can see, having a large number of clutch coins, if you can fill it out with seven before you begin to spend them, that is the ideal scenario. They cannot have more than seven, even if it's possible for them uh, to have eight or even nine drives where they start losing. Uh, the max that they can earn is seven. The Cardiacs provide a lot of fun in their ability to come back late and try to win games late. If you play with the Cardiacs, you really want to kick the ball off first, let your opponent start with the ball, and uh, I, I wouldn't say let them score first, but certainly the Cardiacs are most energized when they're playing from behind. If you can keep it close late in the game and have a large number of clutch coins, it is very possible to pull off some amazing comebacks in the late game.